Arif Sahel, I'm an engineer. I hope you can provide some clarification uh, around a, a particular misconception in the Quran, a uh, few verses where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, kill the Jews wherever you find them. What is the context behind that? Brother has a question that can I give some clarification regarding the verse of the Quran which says, kill the Jews where we find them. What the brother is referring to the verse of the Quran of Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 5, which says, wherever you find a kafir, you kill him. It's not Jew, it is kafir. The word is there. The clarification is that many of the critics of Islam, they pick up these verses and they say, Quran says, wherever you find the kafir, non-Muslim, kill him. And when you open the Quran, it is there. They are quoting this verse out of context. They are quoting this verse out of context. For the context, if you read the first few verses of Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, it speaks about a peace treaty between the Muslims and the Mushriks of Makkah. This peace treaty was unilaterally broken by the Mushriks of Makkah. By the time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reaches verse number 5, He gives an ultimatum to the Mushriks of Makkah to put things straight in four months' time, otherwise a declaration of war. And in the battlefield, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Muslims don't get scared, Wherever you find the kafir, you kill. This is in the battlefield. Now, any army general, to boost up the morale of his soldier, he will but naturally say that wherever you find the enemy, you kill. He will not say wherever you find the enemy, you run away. <laughs> Imagine if there's a war between US and Vietnam, and the American president says that wherever you find the Vietnamese, kill him. And today, if I quote him out of context, that today, American president said, wherever you find the Vietnamese, kill him, I will make him sound like a butcher. So it is in context in the battlefield. And many people quote this verse, including one of the famous critics of Islam in India, Arun Shuri. He wrote a book by the name of World of Fatwas. He quotes this, Surah Tawbah, chapter 9, verse number 5. And from verse number 5, he jumps to verse number 7. You know why? Verse number 6 has a reply. <laughs> verse number 6 of Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9 says that if the enemy, if the mushriks, if the kafir seek asylum, seek peace, don't just give it to them. Escort them to a place of security so that they may hear the word of Allah. Today, the most merciful army general will say, if the enemy wants peace, let him go. Here the Quran said, don't just let him go. Escort him to a place of security. See, all the verses, almost all the verses in the Quran, we speak about fighting. The next verse speaks about peace. Even Surah Anfal chapter 8, verse number 60, which I quote, that caused terror in the hearts of those who reject the truth. But next he says, if they want peace, give them peace. Almost all the verses which talk about fighting, the next verse speaks about peace because Islam is a religion of peace. Unfortunately, they pick it out of context and they just quote that and that's the reason all this confusion is there. Hope that answers the question.